Here we got the Commander 120 from Wilderness Systems. Great boat, super stable. Love everything about this boat. Um, I've done a couple things to it. I added a piece of wood up here to the front that's routed off on both sides. Gives it a nice smooth edge. And I just took some 550 paracord that I have and attached it to the existing clips that come under the track system. And that just gives me a different, this bar right here is, is set, it sits down too low for me to stick my paddle in here and rest against. So I put this just in front of it and it's up a little bit higher and you'll see, this is just a little bungee cord I put in here. Uh, I lay my rods against here, I can strap the bungee cord down. But the primary use of this board at the front of the boat is to, you can see here, hold the, hold the paddle. I'm standing up, it allows me to lay my paddle down. You can see there, it gives me a nice, elevated angle so um, as opposed to doing what I see a lot of guys do where they're laying stuff in here like this or laying them up here uh, when I'm standing this is a much better fishing position in my opinion um, it's up next to my hip I can just reach down and grab it you know right here and I can make an adjustment however I need to do that and then I can set it back down right there and it uh, stays out of my way and you got a couple of adjustments you can do you can slide it in you know you can slide it out so you can kind of do how you want to do with it um, another thing we did was a typical thing everybody's doing with commanders not everybody has this problem but there are a few guys have where it, it, the, it's been splitting right here on the original design where there's an imprint uh, or an indention right here where the bolt is originally at so everybody's going back with a larger washer on top just to just in case if you flop down here you don't want to create a a risk or a chance of splitting the boat right there so we put a two and a half inch quarter inch thick washer in there just to kind of spread out the surface area so whenever that pole that pole is pressed against or pushed against it kind of has a larger surface area to pull it's not going to split um, done that that's something a lot of guys have done with the commander and then I added a, a plate on here um, for it just really just fits for my fishing style and um, just the, the way that I kayak um, I'm a pretty big guy um, so when I'm in the commander 120 the rear end is a little bit uh, low to the water so boat comes by I'm backing up water just gets in here pretty easy or my biggest problem which is when I'm trying to take the boat in or out of the water I lift up and pull it up a steep bank this just takes a nice dunk under the water and fills the boat up with unwanted water and it just you know it's a hassle and so I put uh, put a little backing plate on here. It worked out pretty cool. Um, it's Lexan, I guess it's quarter, maybe maybe half of that uh, thick, and it's uh, super light. Cut it out with a razor blade. Uh, marked my holes, drilled everything out, laid it back on there, bolted her down, sealed around the edge, sealed up the back. Got my plug. Cut it out for that. The handle in the original holes original position just as useful use it every day um, and this just you know, when I'm exiting or entering the water keeps all the water from coming in the boat works out great and uh, if I'm backing up waves are coming or something like that from the rear you know they hit and they kind of roll around you know something may get in if it's serious but I got my sponge back here for that this just makes getting in and out of the water though <sighs> world of difference love that um, a lot of guys are doing the anchor anchor system here. I don't really use my anchor trolley a lot, but I just went ahead and took some 550 paracord, carabiner, did the same setup on the other end of the boat, ran me a length of rope between the two carabiner setups on the end of the boat to a third carabiner right there. And uh, this slides up down the boat. Um, I don't use it a whole lot, but when I do use it, it's very useful, and it was very, very cheap. I spent $6. So uh, I got them on both sides of the boat, and they're very effective. Every time I use them, they work out great. Uh, you hear that? A little noisy. If you're in the right position and the wind's blowing you, it kind of hits in there like that, and up to this aluminum track. And uh, so that's the only complaint I have with this setup. So I'm probably going to put some of that silent traction stuff on here. It'll be less noisy you know when I'm just paddling around and I'm not using this it sits right in there and doesn't make a sound I never had any problems with it at all and it's super simple just got that little can of beaner and some rope there and the same thing over here and uh, 
just ran a length of rope between the two. I have a tension knot right here. I can loosen this side up and I can increase or decrease the tension on the rope and let it sag or tighten it up more. I like it tight up out of the way. Um, I think that's pretty much the, my Commander 120. We did get some uh, silent traction stuff here. I'm going to be, you know, putting some stuff up here on the side. So when you drop that paddle down, it doesn't bang against this edge. So my biggest complaint, if any, if any at all, is just this edge right here needs to be covered because it is a paddle killer. So I think that just about does it for the commander. Um, just purchased a ride 115. Be getting it in in a couple of days. Um, probably have a video of that coming up. So be looking for that. Going to have another boat, another wilderness boat. So I'm excited about it with that well i hope this gives you guys a look into the my commander 120 and some of the things i've done to it um none of this stuff is better than anybody else's stuff it's just sort of the things that i've came up with um everything works pretty good oh i'll show you this too this is my old camera mount real quick here it's a little stub here it's just a three-quarter pvc and then a little stub and a little thread male thread or female thread fitting there got a big two three inch washer underneath here problem is this thing just flexes and so even with this nice solid mount you put a big pole up here it just man it moves so you really can't film like that off the lip that's where the uh camera mounting on the crate comes in it sits right here in the back it's real stable and have it mounted off to one mounted off to one side and so yeah that crate crate camera mount is probably gonna be the way to go in just about any kayak um depending on the sturdiness of the kayak so that's my Commander 120, and again, be looking for the Ride 115 to make an appearance in the next couple of days. Show a video up about that boat. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and appreciate all the views and the subscriptions and all that stuff. And, uh, 